Welcome everybody to Inside the Monster. I'm Burt Reynolds, and I want to thank all my friends at Monster Transmission. They're the best. If I had one of those under my hood, oh, wow, in bigger trouble than I'm already in. Hello everyone and welcome to Inside the Monster. I'm over here at Quantity Hall inside of Monster Transmission. I'm Bobby and I'm here with Shane. Shane, how are you doing today? Not too bad. How are you doing? Awesome, awesome. So, Shane, can you tell me what it is overall that you do here in Quantity Hall? And could you take me over some of the processes it takes to inspect some of these parts? Yeah, yes I can. Uh, behind us, we have a 700R4. Some of the internal parts here in a 700 R4, and basically what we're looking for is any abnormal wear, any chips, cracks, pitting of some sort. Basically, going through making sure that these units are 100% for our builders, and they can you know build them and crank them out. Um, and and that's about you know that's our quality for you. After you make sure that every part here is quality assured, what is the next step? Well, uh, from here we'll make sure that they got all the parts in the case and we will send it down to the build team and the build team will assemble it and it'll be on its way up to testing shortly after that. Uh, what about for all those do-yourselfers at home that order the Monster in a Box kit? What can they expect? Well, I mean, they can expect a lot, a lot of quality parts, um, you know, to our uh, clutches, to steels, to our electronic components, our bands, uh, they're all, you know, the same high quality Monster parts. And we also provide upgraded parts if you would like to, you know, uh, build a bigger, better transmission. Some of those parts, they are, they're upgraded, right? From the regular transmission parts that usually come with the stock transmission, right? Yes, yes sir. What's the worst thing that you've come across while inspecting a part? Oh, I've, I've seen blown up input drums. I've seen planets blown up. Uh, basically, you've seen it, I've, you know, I've seen And those it. obviously don't pass inspection, right? Yeah, no, sir, <laughs> not at all. That's awesome stuff. Well, you heard it first here at Inside the Monster. We're here at Quality Hall with Shane. See you guys later. See ya. Hi, welcome to Monster Transmission. You're in Kurt's Corner. Today we get a lot of questions on E4OD versus 4R100. They both fit a variety of all the Ford engines, including diesel. These are both the small block version that fit like a 4.6 or a 5.4 liter engine. This would be considered an E4OD. It's a four speed, heavy duty, overdrive transmission manufactured by Ford and a couple of identifying factors to look for to know what year you have. So the one you're looking for to identify your year is tag numbers here on the side of the tranny as well as if it has a speed sensor, some of them actually have a plug in this location. We need to know that information to make sure you get the correct product. 
If it's a four x four application, the speed sensor will actually be on the transfer case and there will be no speed sensor on the transmission at, at all. So this is a 4R100, again, a four speed automatic um, and it has different locations for the speed sensors. So there's an input speed sensor and it also has an output speed sensor. The E4RD does not have any speed sensor there. The speed sensor will be on the top of the tail. That again is the output speed sensor for the 4R100. If uh, you're four wheel drive, same, same thing as the E4LD. The speed sensor will actually be on the transfer case. If you have any questions, give us a call here at Monster Transmissions at 1-800-708-0087. We'll talk to you then. Monsters, every single one of you, but there can only be one, but this week there are two. Got Griffin. We also have no. And the first one to land on the table wins. Oh, 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 oh. Hey now. Oh, 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 oh. I like those socks. You got Shift kit. Uh, I'm gonna do a quick burnout for you guys, show you how bad this transmission is. 